another train me please video. Today we move to a medium to low distraction place. This is a place that Perla already knows but where she tends to pull on the leash. Please keep in mind that in this video series you will be watching a training session in a different place each time but that in reality Perla is having several training sessions in each place. I want to explain the equipment I am using to keep Perla interested in me. First, I am using a bait bag. This bait bag opens and closes rapidly and provides easy access to the food. So let me show you the bait bag I am using. This is the bait bag. It pops open really fast and it... You want to help me? You want to help me to explain people what this does? Alright. It opens very quickly and it closes quickly. It has some extra pockets that you can use and it's easy to, to put on your waist. Alright. Second, I am using food to keep her interested in me. And I want to be honest with you here. Most dogs out there will not pay attention to you on their medium distractions if all you have are your gentle hands to stroke them. Dogs, just like people, will do things that get them something they want. And under medium to high distractions, stroking and affection is just not strong enough when compared with trees to sniff and people to say hello to. Food is a primary reinforcement, which means that most dogs like it and want it without having to learn to like it. So stroking Perla here is something that she wants, but out there under medium to high distractions, stroking and affection might not be strong enough. That's why I'm kind of recommending you to use something stronger. Third, I am using a clicker. And a clicker is a training tool that allows me to tell the dog the moment in time in which I saw something that she did well. The clicker is a secondary enforcer because originally it is a neutral stimulus without any value to the dog. But after clicking and giving her some food repeatedly, the clicker starts to have meaning. It starts to mean food or maybe even a tennis ball is coming. The sound of the clicker can be called marker, bridge, conditioned uh, reinforcer, secondary reinforcement, among other terms. You can use any sound to work as your marker, but clickers are the most common in the dog training world. And I think I have my clicker here. There we go. This is a clicker. This one has this little strap that you can, you can use on your arm, and it just makes this sound. And she's looking at it right now because she knows what it means. Good girl, Perla. Alright, so moving on, um, I am also using a leash which prevents Perla from running away from me. Regarding the use of the leash, I have one very important rule, which I call the golden rule. If she pulls me, if there is tension on the leash, she does not get to move forward. And I will get back to this rule in another video. So this is the leash I'm using with Perla, just a simple leash, no big deal. And she thinks she's going to go for a walk. But we're not going right now, sweetie, all right? Okay, so moving on. On today's video, I would like you to pay attention to the use of food and the clicker. See how engaged she is on me. This attention is much easier with these training tools. We are just outside the apartment complex. And this is the distraction level that I thought that Pedalock could handle at this moment in training. The game is the same, I want her to give me eye contact and I will provide reinforcement in exchange for this eye contact. Not just the food treats, but I will also keep walking, which is also a reinforcement for the dog. Now over there I saw some people coming closer and I took that opportunity to get close to those people. And she kept looking at me, which, is, which was exactly what I was trying to get. Each dog will have a different reaction to, to a different environment. For Perla, this specific level of distraction was fine. For your dog, this might be too big of a jump. If your dog pays attention indoors and gets really excited or distracted outdoors, then you might have to find some middle ground. For example, you might have to start conducting your sessions inside your house but with the front door open. In 
then later on you might have to you may have to to do training sessions indoors with the front door open and going outside and inside several times until your dog becomes able to handle the outside environment for other dogs you might be able to get a bigger jump than I got here. You might be able to go to a more distracting environment and the dog will be fine with it and still pay attention to you. So keep in mind that each dog will have a different reaction to the environment. Is it? I'm trying to remain interesting to Padua. I'm trying to capture uh, the moment in which she looks at me and also the moments in which I turn around and she comes to follow me. So in those moments I click and reward the dog. Also note that I'm using a high rate of reinforcement. What that means is that I'm reinforcing Pedala very often, giving her food treats very very often. And this is important especially in the beginning. Okay, I wanted to do this session here with only a few treats or, or a, a very low amount of treats I would have a hard time getting pedaling to be engaged in. later on I will decrease the amount of, of food that I'm using but for now I really want her to be totally interested in it. that is the game that we are doing here in this session Please keep in mind that we are in a medium distraction environment, so the food needs to be good enough for the dog. If the dog is used to kibble, for example, you will probably need something tastier than kibble under this medium distraction environment. I am sharing information with you on a step-by-step -step process. I am still not explaining everything I am doing on this video because I do not want you to be overloaded with information. Hey, Perla! Bella, come here. Good girl. There we go. You need to be here for the camera. Oh, yes. Thank you. All right. All right, so this information builds on the previous video and requires information that I will provide you with over the next videos. If you would like to have the information coming in future videos, please subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.